probably one of my favourite things we've released. <laughs> when we picked the name out, it's hard. I thought it was sort of ironic, like, art isn't really that hard, like, anyone can do it. Original sort of punk ideas of anyone can start a band and release a record, and we wanted to sort of, like, portray that side. We started the label out in about 2010. We obviously wanted to focus on the southwest and quickly sort of realised within like six months or so that there wasn't really enough bands in the southwest. Sort of did that for the first year or two and alongside our university studies, sort of putting our student loans into pressing records instead of eating well. <laughs> People will probably see it as quite depressing like eating a dinner of a pot noodle or a pork pie and then just working for like six hours when you get back from work, but I don't know, quite enjoyed it. The band from the first wave we've actually released is these guys, who are like nine drummers, and they're from Bahrain. We've done quite a lot of different releases and we always try and make the packaging a bit interesting, so this was a cassette release that we did in like a cigarette style packet. The guy who we asked to make it was just like, I've never done anything like this before. It's, I've got no idea how I'm going to do it, but I love the idea, so I'm just going to try and do it anyway. And for a couple of years, we did these pizza boxes. The idea was that every Friday, we'd put out a different single, and yeah, they all sold out as well. I feel like I'm boasting all the selling out, but, <laughs> but no, I think just people really appreciate like being able to own like different sorts of music on different formats. and. I have a full-time job, um, which is working for an eco-holiday company, and any spare time I get is sort of thrown into the label. Sometimes in a week it'll be only like one or two hours that I actually get time to do anything. Slightly less than it used to be now, now I live with my girlfriend. <laughs> Previously when I used to live in a shared house, it would all just be in my bedroom. It's nice to uh, be in my own flat and, yeah, be able to keep them all in the covers. <laughs> out of my girlfriend's way. I would probably rather I didn't do it and dedicated like all my time to her. <laughs> she's really good with it. She'll always, like, every time we put on a gig or anything, she'll always be working on the door or um, she'll always help me package up envelopes late at night. I mean, the obvious thing is it changes your relationship massively and the fact that that becomes your main focus sort of every day. There's never sort of a stop in that, mind, that mindset or that focus because music is such a part of our lives and David's life. The rewards of the label, I think, is like the family ethos and how many, how many people and like bands you get to meet and see and sort of understanding an industry that you don't get. You wouldn't necessarily, as a fan, get to know anything about it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of pressure that comes with running a label and doing a job nine till five and then coming home and running a label and trying to manage family life and when things go, go wrong it becomes very difficult it does create a lot of added pressure onto a day-to-day -day <laughs> schedule i guess it's always, it's always fun to come back and see a band you've released and um especially if they've moved on to like another label and see how, like, how they've progressed. Last time I'm here about three months ago when they played for our fifth birthday. So it's pretty cool to see them again. Everyone's friends, so it's nice to be able to like hang out, watch music together. We talk about giving it, giving it up all the time, but I don't know, I don't think I'd be able to last very long without sort of being drawn back to it, being sent some music I love and just not being able to resist sort of sharing it with everyone. I used to have like quite lofty ambitions for like making it a full-time job, but the sort of longer you do it, the more you realise that like, that's not really a viable thing. Yeah, it's not, it's not driven by sort of business that's driven by passion I guess. No, I'm just happy just to keep it going as like a hobby and hopefully in like five years time it'll still just be sort of ticking along. <laughs>